Hi, this is Evan, and I'm your host for Wine Couch TV. On this week's episode, as we often do, we'll be tasting two wines and talking about the foods that go with them. This week's focus is on that wonderful Italian wine, Prosecco. Now, Prosecco is a beautiful sparkling wine and a much less expensive alternative to Champagne and several of the other slightly pricier sparkling wines from around the world. Prosecco in Italy, like Cava in Spain, is unique in the sense that the product, Prosecco, and the region, Prosecco, are the same, very much like Cava, the sparkling wine, and the region of Cava in Spain are the same. The sole difference is that in the case of Prosecco, it also happens to be the name of the grape. Prosecco has become very popular today, and you see it pretty much everywhere, not just in Italian restaurants, but in many other restaurants, pouring it by the glass, or people enjoying it at their homes, or even at picnics. And there's a good reason. It's a delicious wine and a great value. Let me take you through two different wines that we're going to be doing today. The first wine is this wonderful little product called Il Mionetto Prosecco. Now, Prosecco itself is located specifically in the region of the Veneto in northern Italy. Let's go ahead and taste it. Mmm, that's really good. Prosecco's bubbles tend to be a little bit larger than your typical champagne because the process they use for getting the bubbles in the wine is a little bit faster, keeps the price points a little bit down, and works very well for the Prosecco grape. This particular one from Mionetto has a wonderful aroma of ripe pear, a little bit of ripe lemon, and just a hint of a slightly tropical character. On the palate, it's very smooth, very creamy, and the effervescence is very soft, approachable, but the finish is still long. Very tasty, very wonderful, and very appropriate for its everyday price point, which makes it a terrific value for money. Let's go ahead and take a look at a second one. This particular bottle, which I also adore, is a Prosecco di Conigliano from the House of Canella, again, also in the region of Prosecco and also in the region of the Veneto. Now, this wine is slightly different for a couple of reasons. One, Conigliano is a specific area within the larger Prosecco well known for its high-quality wines. The House of Canella is a smaller domain making very, very good wines, but at a slightly more premium price point than the wines that we just talked about from Mionetto. Let's go ahead and taste this wine. We're two for two. This particular sparkling wine I really enjoy because it has a much toastier character. It's a little bit richer, has a little bit more um, engagement on the palate. The fruit character is quite similar. Again, that sort of apple pear quality and a little bit of that tropical fruit. But again, you have a nice sort of toastiness, almost a croissant or brioche-like character in the nose. Once again in the mouth, a very creamy palate, a very soft effervescence, but a little bit more prickly, which makes it, I think, extremely food friendly. A long finish and a tasty wine. And once again, a slightly more premium price point. When I think of Prosecco, I think about it with food, because although a lot of people might associate it with Paris Hilton and cans, I like it with my food, my food even more. There are sort of three or four different things I think about for Prosecco. The first is Asian food. Prosecco works beautifully with everything from teriyaki, and sushi to Indonesian satay to uh, sweet and sour pork, it all, it's all really, really good. Secondarily, sort of more tropical cuisine, whether you're having Hawaiian pokey or Venezuelan empanadas or even Peruvian ceviche, Prosecco is fabulous. And last but not least, and one of my personal favorites, is with deep fried foods. Like many sparkling wines, Prosecco goes extremely well with anything that's hit the fryer later. But the big difference here is that things that have sort of an edge of sweetness pair beautifully. For me, Fried chicken, Prosecco, that's the match that I really, really love. So, before we get ready to go, let me hit on our wine word for the week. The wine word for Wine Couch TV this week is spumante. Now, spumante is a term that we associate with... Asti. And most people think of Asti Spumanti as sort of a single thing and a slightly sweeter style of sparkling wine from Italy. Spumanti, in fact, means sparkling. It's not necessarily just associated with Asti. And Spumanti in Italy is used the way we use sparkling for sparkling wine here in the United States. I hope you find that helpful and a good word to add for your wine vocabulary. That's about all the time we have. So tune in for next week when we talk about the wines from Austria and specifically Gruner Veltliner and the foods that love them. Until then, you take care.